for Arkansas football. 2017, four and eight. You fire coach uh, Belima. He won one SEC game that year. Next, 2018, 2019. Those are both two and ten seasons. Arkansas loses to some awful teams: North Texas, San Jose State. You know we don't have to relive through those, but that did happen. And then the next season, Arkansas goes three and seven in 2020. Pandemic year, you know, low depth. But you got to look at that schedule. I mean, that would truly be six and six in a normal year. But Arkansas just went from four and eight, two and ten, two and ten, and then I guess three and seven. Even though I think the team is better than you know a normal three eight three team win would be in a normal year, to a nine and four record. Uh, my original prediction on the season was around six and six, maybe seven and five, uh, seven wins with a bowl. But uh, this team just outlasted my my expectations, and I'm you know I'm happy to be wrong here. Um, you know, and they, they played really well. And for anybody going, looking at Arkansas the next few years, it's always going to be the same thing. It's going to be, you know, this Hawk team, you know, they're improving, they're getting better, you know, from those seasons when they sucked. But, um, you know, that schedule is tough. And I think Sam Pittman really took a statement this year. He said, we aren't our schedule. We're the Arkansas Razorbacks. You know, we play our schedule and we win these games. So Arkansas doesn't sit there and say, we got to travel to Death Valley. We can't win that one. Death Valley is a tough place to win, by the way. And they won that one, um, winning four trophy games. Arkansas won the Outback Bowl, won the Battle Line rivalry, won the boot game, and then won the Southwest Classic. Remind you that Arkansas had not won a bowl game in five years and then won the Outback Bowl. Arkansas lost to Mizzou for multiple seasons in a row, lost to LSU for multiple seasons, you know, and everybody knows how long we've lost to Texas A&M. And St. Payment went in there and said, hey, that doesn't matter. We're going to win these things. Texas A&M was a top-10 team in time. It didn't matter. I think this game is huge because Arkansas really proved that this game in the season that, you know, Arkansas is going to be a good football program regardless of the teams on the schedule. Next year doesn't get any easier. You know, Cincinnati, BYU, Missouri State, Liberty, those are tough out-of-conference games. But I think Arkansas has established themselves as a team that is willing for that challenge. You know, Sam Pittman isn't going to back down. I cannot remember a time where Pittman has backed down as the head coach. You know, he's always put his players out there in situations to succeed and win. Um, In terms of coaching, if he's not satisfied with the coach, there will be adjustments made and changes made. Arkansas is developing guys. Um, You know, I I really find it tough to see situations where at the beginning of the year, say like starting defensive backs or starting running backs. Outside of injuries, I cannot think of many situations where the coaching staff had position groups degressing. The team got better as the year goes on, and that's how it's supposed to be. And I think the thing is, the last few seasons, you know, not counting the pandemic year, were tough because that wasn't happening. And um, it was frustrating because Arkansas was not good on offense, good on defense. So, you know, you a lot of guys calling for more to get fired. And yes, they're correct. But when, like, one bad thing happens, you know, some people will call for a coach to be fired or something. And, you know, obviously there's always going to be fans that will do that. But, uh, you know, Bryles, Odom, Fountain, they've all been incredible this season. I mean, Arkansas had a punt returner on the All-SEC list this season and a kicker. I mean, when's the last time Arkansas special teams have been that good? Cam Little returns, Reed Bauer returns. Uh, Arkansas will be good next season. I'm looking forward to this team, man. I love some Arkansas football, and I know I just kind of ranted on there for a second, kind of sounded sad, but I think, you know, Arkansas went out this season, had a statement game here, like, hey, we're the Arkansas Razorbacks. We're not the SEC West team playing all these teams, Alabama, LSU, all these tough teams every season. We're the Arkansas Razorbacks, and we're going to go out there and win these football games. It doesn't matter, you know, what what other people say because every single season it's going to be that way. You know, I'm just warning you that next season we're going to hear it on college game day. Oh, you know, I, I love these Razorbacks, but, man, that schedule is tough. I, I can't see them winning more than five, six games, something like that. And I think all the Razorbacks will out, outgo those expectations. Um, you know, Sam Pittman has this program in a place to succeed. Like, these Razorbacks are fighting for him. Everybody loves playing for him. And that's got guys are coming back, you know, for fifth, sixth years. You know, you a lot of programs aren't getting that. Like, Ricky Stromberg, man, that's a NFL caliber center. He's right now the top center option in the 2023 NFL draft, playing for Arkansas next season. Arkansas is probably going to return anywhere around like 10, 11, 12 maybe 13 starters if everything goes perfect. And we'll have to see how it goes next few months, transfers and everything. But Pittman's going to go attack that transfer market. 
Um, you know, talk to his players. But guys like Jalen Catalan coming back, man, that's right there. That's a five-star commitment. I'm really happy with how the season went out in the Outback Bowl game. And I just love Sam Pittman, Arkansas football man. Great to have back. As always, though, y'all know the deal. Tomorrow morning, Tuesday, you can catch this podcast. I'll be previewing the Vanderbilt game for basketball as the Hogs look to get a win there. But anyway, signing off for now. Woo pig suey. That's all for today's episode of All Hog Sports with Sam Stimson. Make sure to stay tuned for the next episode covering all Arkansas Razorback sports. If you enjoyed today's episode, please subscribe and leave a five-star review on Apple Podcasts. Follow us on social media, too. On Twitter and Instagram at All Hog Sports Pod. Like on Facebook at All Hog Sports and Arkansas Razorbacks Podcast. And on YouTube at that same name. Thanks for tuning in to today's episode. Go Hogs!